the day has finally come for us to do an Italian food tour. I feel like all of our food tours have been preparing us for this exact moment. I mean, we already love Italian food even before we got to Italy, so this day is gonna be perfect. For breakfast, we are starting out at a super cute cafe and we got some cappuccinos and let's try them. Oh my gosh. We've only been in Italy for a few days, but I have not had a bad cup of coffee yet, but especially because the espresso in this cappuccino is so good. But what I'm most excited for is this sweet treat. We read that most Italians like eating sweets for breakfast, so I'm not gonna argue there. So let's give this a try. It looks so good. It has like powdered sugar. I think it's Nutella in the middle, and it kind of looks like a shortbread cookie. It is definitely shortbread. It is so good. It's super crunchy, but not too much where you can't like enjoy it. I really want to get some of the Nutella though. Mm. Is that a good two euros spent well? This cappuccino and this, I'm gonna call it a cookie because it looks like a cookie. This is what breakfast dreams are made of. You have to get the cappuccino before noon, I believe, in Italy because they think the milk is bad for your digestion later in the day, so we got it just in the nick of time. I'm gonna enjoy this cappuccino and this cookie and then we are off to get some more Italian food. Moving on from the cappuccino and the pastry, we are looking for our next food items. Probably gonna try to find some caprese salad, maybe some meats and cheeses too. We are starting out at this super cute wine bar. We're just sitting in the middle of this little street and our views on either side are so beautiful. We have these beautiful Italian buildings all around us, but of course we had to start out our day with an aperitivo and we got a classic Aperol Spritz. Just tastes better when you're in Italy, honestly. It's traditional to start your meals with an aperitivo in Italy because it separates the work day from like the rest of your life. I mean, we're having it at noon, so we're not doing it exactly right, but it also is supposed to open your appetite. And honestly, it's really good. We're so excited that we found two dishes that we absolutely had to try in Italy. We got the caprese salad. It is just cheese and tomatoes, and we have some oregano on it. And what we're probably most excited for right now, well, I don't know, Jenny's really excited about the caprese. This is the meat and cheese board. It's pronounced tagieri, <laughs> something like that. And it all just looks so delicious, so let's give it a try. We have this bread right here, and it is uh, very crunchy. I can tell that. And we're gonna try this salami. He said it's salami toscano, so it is specific to this region that we're in right now of Tuscany. And then, of course, we will try this cheese. Of course, there's a little bit of a language barrier, but I'm pretty sure he said that this cheese has, like, truffle. Wow, that bread was a lot softer than I thought it was going to mm -hmm. be. It was. It was softer than I thought. That is delicious. I mean, just a perfect way to start out this food tour. I have never had truffle cheese before, so I'm honestly just going to take a bite of it like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jacob, is that not the best cheese you've ever had? Well, maybe I need to take a bite of it just with the cheese. It's and like so else. strong and flavorful, but also really like soft and mild. I don't know. This is amazing. I'm pretty sure you can go truffle hunting in Tuscany, so I bet this is probably from Tuscany. Mm. I'm gonna add a little bit of balsamic and olive oil to my caprese. Caprese is one of my favorite dishes. Like, I eat it all the time. So having it in Italy is just, I feel like the tomatoes in Italy are like exceptionally good. So I just can't wait. Ooh. Yeah, we just got some tomatoes from the grocery store the other day and they were way more delicious than any tomatoes I've ever had. All right, first bite. I'm so excited and a little nervous. Mm. Everything on this table right now is so incredibly delicious. I'm never leaving Italy. Our 90 day Shenzhen might run out at some point. <laughs> I'm so excited about the variety of meats that they gave us. There's also some salsa here too, which I think is interesting. I wasn't expecting that. We also got a bag of bread. Honestly, I think I'm gonna dip some of the bread in the olive oil and balsamic. That's gonna be really good. That's like one of your favorite meals it of is. all time. <laughs> There's a few different kinds of bread in here. Let's try this one. It looks like lots of grain in here. Sounds pretty crunchy. 
but not too hard. Mmm. It's very earthy. It's so good. Yeah, you can definitely taste like the herbs and the whole wheat maybe, but it's delicious. Everything here is just so fresh. I'm gonna try a little prosciutto with, gotta get the truffle cheese in there. It's so good. Do you also wanna try the salsa? Maybe in the next bite? I know I say this about everything we've had so far, but it is seriously so good. This bread is like perfectly like crunchy, but it's not soft, but it like melts in your mouth. And I think it has like garlic seasoning on it. Do you prefer the cheese with the bread and the meat or just the cheese by itself? I can't, everything's good. Every, you could eat it alone, you could eat it with bread, you could eat it with prosciutto, but you can't go wrong. Well now you gotta dip it in the salsa to see. I've never had salsa with this kind of food before. But like we were saying, the tomatoes in Italy are so good, so it'll probably be good. Maybe the salsa is good, but it's like no, it is it's good, a combination that we don't really think of. Yeah, I wouldn't mix those things together, but it is really good salsa. This one is interesting. It's way darker than any of the other meats on the plate. And when he was giving it to us and he was kind of giving a description of some of the meats, he said something about pig, but we don't know if it was with pig or <laughs> without pig. I've honestly never seen like a dried meat that dark before. Yeah, it's it's actually like really dry. It literally There's... blends in with your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not greasy, like maybe the salami would be. I would say definitely not my favorite, but just because I don't really know what it is, I'm not familiar with it. Maybe if I ate it more, I'd be more adjusted to its taste. Something that we definitely didn't note when we were there, but we should have, was that olive oil was the best olive oil I have ever tasted. I like seriously feel like I could just drink it. And normally when I'm like dipping my bread in olive oil and vinegar, I really like the balsamic vinegar, but I was just dipping my bread in the olive oil and it was so good and the capicola was so spicy and so delicious plus my aperol spritz was only five euros that place was such a little gem honestly it's super far away from the touristy area because we're not staying super close to the tower of pisa so i think that's why it was cheaper and better we got a chianti wine which is the region here in tuscany that we're actually going to in a few videos from now so we had to try their wine we also got there's some construction going on behind me. We also got a Prosecco. And this little map here tells us where all of this is from in Italy, so that's kind of cool. But let's try the Chianti. Obviously, we couldn't do an Italian food tour without getting some wine. We had Chianti wine a few days ago here in Italy, and it was absolutely delicious. So I definitely like the Chianti wine, and I'm gonna describe the one that we had a few days ago. It was very light and fruity and delicious, so I definitely recommend Chianti wine. This one isn't as bad as I initially thought, but the one that we got at the grocery store the other day was definitely a lot better. The street definitely seems like the place for a lot of construction right now. Hopefully it's not too loud. I got the Prosecco, the sparkling white wine. I usually like sparkling wines, and so that's why I got it. And of course, it's Italian. It's from Northeast Italy. Northeast Italy. It's on the map here. <laughs> I, I really enjoy that. I mean, not like the biggest wine fan, but of course, when you're in Italy, you gotta do it. In Italy, there's a very specific way on how you're supposed to order your meals and how you're supposed to eat them. They have the antipasto, which is like an appetizer. They have the primi, which is like your first course. And then you have a second course, which is the second eat. So instead of ordering like everything at one restaurant, our first restaurant was like our antipasto with the aperitivo and the caprese salad. And then we came here for the primi and the second eat. So first and second course. So for our first course, we got spaghetti carbonara and for the second course we're getting chicken with lemon and normally you would get your own pasta and meat but we're eating a lot today so we're splitting it the time has come to try carbonara in Italy it also came with some bread and we got Jacob's chicken as well I've read that you're not supposed to cut the noodles I've never cut the noodles anyway like really? with a knife no they yeah we read that we weren't supposed to cut it with a knife this is such a big bite Whatever, when in Italy, right? Yeah? Okay, my first thought is, wow, that is a lot saltier than I thought it was going to be. 
but it makes sense because there's bacon in there. Definitely different than any carbonara I've ever had before. You can tell that it's so fresh though. Lots of bits of bacon, like huge bits of bacon in here. Look at that. Oh, just the bacon. <laughs> Honestly, the bacon is really good. I was worried the chicken wasn't gonna come at the same time as the pasta since it is the second course, but because we're in a little touristy area a little bit, then it came at the same time. So I'm gonna try the chicken. I'm gonna use some of this lemon on it first. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it is time to dig into this chicken. And it actually does make a lot of sense why you would normally eat meals in Italy with like multiple courses because the pasta, it looks like a pretty decent sized portion, but this chicken, I mean, neither of them are like huge. Like in the United States, you usually just get like a huge gigantic meal. You probably get chicken and the pasta together, but with this, oh, that Ooh, is, that cuts nice. looks very tender. Let's try it out. Yep, definitely really, really tender. Just cooked on the grill. This is, this is some good chicken. I'm gonna get more of the sauce. I'm actually gonna try the sauce without the chicken so I can get more of the flavor profile. I'm trying to use fancy words just because I'm in <laughs> Italy, but you know, let's see. Oh, salty, very salty. I didn't get a lot of the sauce in my first chicken bite. And then there's this like, brown sauce at the end that's a little bit sweet. Honestly, the chicken looks like the winner. I mean, the dish is just only chicken, so I was really hoping it was good, and it is. This honestly looks so delicious. And you normally don't like meat at all. It's so easy to bite and chew. It's so juicy and tender and that sauce is delicious. It just has a little bit of zing in it. The chicken, definitely the winner so far. Oh, really? Way better than your pasta? I haven't even tried that yet. Yeah, it's better than the pasta. She said this was uh, a little bit salty, right? Yeah, it you was said very salty. salty. I thought it was just from the, the bacon, but maybe not. You didn't roll it like a true Italian. You just went for it, oh my gosh. I wanted to save the viewers a few seconds. That is salty. Is it? So it's more than just from the bacon? It's, I don't know, but it's very, very salty. Both bites with the bacon and without it. Both really salty, but you have some more salt. Definitely put don't it on? need more salt. <laughs> oh, but there's the, there's, this is Parmesan cheese, right? Yeah. You can put that on. So that came with the pasta, the spaghetti. I have to say, all the cheese we've had so far in Italy, Amazing. This just made the pasta so much better. Sorry, the spaghetti, so much better. Now we are trying a panna cotta. We could get caramel, chocolate, or fruits. We chose chocolate. You chose chocolate. I, I chose wanted the chocolate. fruit. <laughs> I kind of wanted the fruit too, but I wasn't sure. And of course we had to get some digestifs. Digestifs or digestivos? I think it's O's. Digestivos. And to be honest, I thought they were going to be a lot smaller. We got Amari and Sambucha. I don't know which is which. We're gonna start with the panna cotta because traditionally you're supposed to have the digestivos last because they're supposed to be like very strong alcohols that help your digestive system and we definitely need a lot of help with the digestion because we've eaten a lot and we're definitely gonna get gelato after this so okay let's try the panna cotta. It's got a very firm texture. I honestly don't think I've ever had panna cotta before. Got some chocolate still there. <laughs> it honestly tastes like very mild vanilla ice cream, but it's not cold like vanilla ice cream. And then it tastes like the chocolate syrup. The consistency is kind of like hard jello. I'm trying to get these digestivos away from me because it smells like black licorice. <laughs> I mean, one of them is, I looked it up, one of them is supposed to taste like licorice, which we had to try it because it was on the menu and it said digestivo, but don't really like that licorice flavor, but hopefully I like the panna cotta. There's a lot of this chocolate sauce here. When I pick it up off the spoon, you can kind of see that oh it gosh. like moves around like that, up oh and down. God. That's funny. I kind of get like a, a pudding texture out of it. Oh yeah, like, like a it, hard pudding. Yeah, like, and it, I mean, there's a lot of this chocolate in there, like, probably more than we're gonna be able to eat. And I think I really like that flavor. And then it's a, 
it's all right. I'm not really a big uh, gelatin fan. And now we have the digestivos. We've been trying to like eat a lot slower than we normally do because that's the culture in Italy. You're just supposed to take your time. You're supposed to relax and just have a good time with whoever you're eating dinner with. And so I'm the best company. <laughs> so now that one's the licorice. I... <laughs> Ooh, this one smells way better. Ooh, that's a good flavor. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to drink this just to enjoy the flavor, but I am going to. And this one, hopefully it's better than it smells. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'll take this one and Jenny will take this no one. No way. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna start with the uh, licorice one first. Ooh. That really smells like black licorice. Oh, it's actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. It's so sweet. I don't even know if it tastes like alcohol. Oh, I can feel it going down though. I'm gonna try another sip. Whew. Honestly, I think that is sweeter than our dessert. I think this one was the sambucha. I might be wrong though. Kinda smells like Coke. <laughs> It honestly kind of tastes like fireball, like cinnamon whiskey. Jacob, you like this one better? Yeah. You can have this one. Wait, Perfect. let me try one more sip. And I like it too, because it's cold. The other one's not cold. The other one's just room temperature. I'm shocked that I like this like licorice one. It doesn't really taste like licorice. It's like very, very sweet with like a tiny black licorice smell and aftertaste. We are finally on the move. I love the culture here in Italy. You just sit, relax. You have your aperitivo, you have your wine, you have your digestivo. I still don't know if I'm saying all those words right, but it feels good to be moving again. I think we were at that restaurant for, I know for two hours, I think we were there for a little bit over two hours, so feels good to be moving again. I'm not sure what we're gonna get next, but there's definitely more food coming. And of course, no Italian food tour would be complete without showing you some of the delicious pizza that we've had. We got a margarita pizza and a prosciutto pizza with a few other things on it. They were both pretty good. We will say that our favorite part of the pizza here in Italy so far has been the tomato sauce. It is just so natural and fresh and the pizza is very mild and delicious. We have made it back out to get some gelato. I got lemon, strawberry, and passion fruit. Is it different than ice cream? The lemon is so good. Yeah, it's a lot thicker. It's not as airy. Oh my gosh. I like that the lemon is white and not like artificially colored to be like yellow. All right, this, I only got the strawberry because there was like none left. So I figured it had to be good. Oh. Honestly, it just tastes like ice and strawberries. It's like really thick though. It's very good. I think the lemon's still my favorite. Now let's try the passion fruit. I've been missing passion fruit since we were in Thailand. So hopefully this tastes like it. Passion fruit and lemon are a little bit sour and I really like that. Passion fruit and lemon are my favorites for sure. We got dark chocolate, mango, and wild berry. Dark chocolate. Pretty solid, but I think I need a refreshing taste from the mango. And the wild berry. Ooh, I think the wild berry is my favorite. It's like falling down my hands right now. Very, very delicious. Thank you so much for watching this video. We have plenty more Italian videos coming your way, so we'll see you there.